we consume significant quantities of fizzy stuff in our house to the degree that we've gone and got a soda stream thing. Is it that the carbon dioxide making it fizzy is the bad for my teeth? Or is it the orange flavoured syrup that you know we're sticking in to sort of make Fanta and things like that that causes the problem? So it's a little bit of both to be honest. Unfortunately, yeah. So with the syrups, again, they're sugar-based. So every time you drink that fizzy drink, you're adding sugar into your mouth. And as we kind of said last time, the frequency that you're consuming sugary things with is what really adds to the burden of tooth decay. Because if you're constantly sipping on things, you're constantly feeding the bacteria that sits on your mouth and that plaque, and they're constantly producing the acids that are eating away at your teeth. Like if you keep feeding them, they're going to keep producing the thing that eats away at your teeth. If you do want to drink a lot of fizzy drinks or any kind of sugary drinks, having them with a meal is the best thing to do because then you're already getting the hit from the food so if you want to have a sugary drink have it with a meal it's when you're sipping on it constantly between the meals that it's the issue moving on to the second bit of things with the co2 so you might think okay i'll go for the sugar-free syrups and just have the fizzy bit Again, that can cause some issues in terms of the actual acidity of the carbon dioxide that you add in. So again, if you're sipping on it constantly, that acidity from the fizzy drink will wear away at that enamel, and then that will end up reducing that amount of enamel that's there, and then increasing your risk of things like sensitivity. And once the enamel's gone, you can't put it back. 